still doing, my amazing people? Today, the sun is out bright and shining. I'm probably going to be saying that quite a lot. The Today, I am power flushing, but you're not going to see that. You're going to see something way more exciting where there is a rusted up boiler. Pretty new, was the 4,000. And another boiler that probably not a lot of you would have come across at all. Um, that is blowing some electrics. So let's jump into it. Let's have a look. Hope you're all good. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you enjoy it. So we've got a Worcester 4000 here that's leaking. I'm gonna open it up now and see why. I would say that's the issue. Little B. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, that's just been leaking down and leaking through. Okay, let's see if we got one. Let's see if I got one that will fit. Just pulled this clip out and then thought, I'll show you. I think I might have one that fits on the van. See if I got one. So I've lubricated the new one here. It's always trickier doing it one handed. Let's get the clip in. We're all good, no leaks. That little clean up. Looks like an old one. So next job, we are back at one of those spaceship looking electric boilers. We are changing the element and tribal because it keeps blowing the circuit. So not done one of these before, so it's going to be an exciting experience, which I'm hoping you join me on. So I've removed the panel in here and the front case and everything. Electrics is isolated. And this is what we're replacing. This element, we're gonna stick these to the new one. Two connections there, and the dry board too. Because it is all making it blow. So it should just be a case of pull the PRV or drain the boiler, however way you wanna do it. These two connections, these screws, and just rebuilding is the plan. So I'm draining every lamp through the filter, because why not? It's here. This is basically a light for light. It's got a label up, I remember where all of these go.
also get this handy little syringe of heat compound, heat sink compound, I should say. If I can get it open. And we just gotta put our stats back in. We had them labeled top, middle and bottom. So top will go on there, middle there, bottom there. So the new board looks like this. And the old board is slightly different. Goes on this clamp and this. So you've had to disconnect. There's three screws across there, but you can see them there. They clip onto there. So I've got to take this all off and then try and fit that onto there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film that because it's really fiddly, to be honest, and the phone is in the way. I'm going to swap these over now so if you don't miss any or get them mixed up. Again, I think the phone needs to come out of the way for this, but I will show as much as I can. What I'm gonna do for now is switch those over and then try and find a way to fit that onto that. So here we are, that one's all in. I've managed to get a fix in onto there through that bracket. HT lead goes back onto there. This is all in, that's all in. We are ready to turn on. It's not dripping, so that's a good sign. So we've got hot water demand on, and it's all running, everything's starting to heat. So there we have it all done. Ironically, or weirdly, I should say, the PCB was trickier to change than the actual element itself, which obviously PCBs are normally pretty easy to do, aren't they? But yeah, they've like completely changed the back housing of it. So that wasn't fun. And my knife, look, I caught that. So it's just not tight anymore. Do not want to end up losing that. So talking to myself, um, yeah, that was a bit of a pain. The second bit to that, but uh, it's all up and running. It's all working. That's what matters. So you have it, couple of decent jobs there. One quick and easy one, one a bit more involved, which is one of them jobs that just looks a nightmare on the face of it. And actually, as you start to get involved in it and start to learn a little bit about them, they're not actually too bad. They're relatively easy to work on once you understand the concept of them. So, yeah, both customers happy, both able to get heat in hot water and whatnot, and no more leaking boilers. So, yeah, subscribe and catch you next week. I've got a fun one coming, a couple of fun ones, and I haven't forgotten the Q&A either. That is coming, just collating all the questions and whatnot. So yeah, that'll be coming up too and some interesting stuff coming up for the summer. So keep watching.